Hello, everybody. I'm Thomas Carruthers, and welcome to this, our the first annual Carruthers, Legata, and Whoever Quizathon, where we will be pitting return guests uh, against each other in a three round, well, the third round being the finale, um, movie quiz showcase. Uh, our first game today is previous guest of Misery fame and Rocky Horror Picture Show fame, Sam Mandagomi. Hi everybody, I am, I am very, very excited to, 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 to take my, my uh, contributor hat off and put my quiz hat there on. There you go. And <laughs> Katrina of Sliding Doors and About Time fame. Uh, how are you today, Katrina? Hi, I'm good. Clearly I just love a rom-com. Yeah, that's and awesome. what, what's, what's the link between Misery and Rocky Horror Picture Show? Other than I've watched them more than 50 times each. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're both sexy, I don't know. Yeah, um, <laughs> they both have call-outs. I mean, just in my house, I shout out things at uh, Annie Wilkes. <laughs> Watching Misery. Yeah. Annie, love me! <laughs> Return <laughs> my calls! Yeah. <laughs> I've made my own, and I throw rice, and I... <laughs> <laughs> I've made my own call out for misery. <laughs> and then everybody shouts cock a um, I've, I've never seen misery. I've oh. only seen the family guy. <laughs> I've also, for the longest time, I never saw Stand By Me, Misery, or Shawshank um, Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. I'd only seen the family guy episode. I've had a lot of people say that to me in life. And you'd think that. I think Shawshank's, I think, well, everybody, but you'd think that Shawshank, everybody adores Shawshank, don't they? Well, not adores it necessarily, but I've never seen somebody who's actually seen Shawshank and gone, that was actively that terrible. Was. Yeah. I'm sure there's someone out there. There will be, but they're probably lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, lying I will, I, I do, with a, with a passion. With a, yeah, with a humongous passion hear anything about your humongous passion mm. actually mm. oh mate now the first round is very simple both of you are going to get five questions no stealing worth one point two points three points four points and you guessed it five points now katrina wow. i yeah. have two blocks of questions here as you were uh, on the show before sam was could you please pick your block? Block one or block two? Block two. Block two. Okay. Katrina, your one point question. No stealing, I'm afraid, in the first round. Oh, nervous. <laughs> What's improved by over 50% following the release of Ratatouille? Rat sales. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. <laughs> As <is. laughs> Uh, pet rat I, I find rats quite cute, actually. Mm, um, no. Uh, not a big fan. <laughs> no. I think they're cute. Rats, snakes, tarantulas. Not uh, like New York rats. I'm talking like domesticated pet rats. You talked about on a previous episode, Katrina, how one of your big red flags is if uh, you go to somebody's uh, room and they've got a Pulp Fiction poster. I think, one of my, <laughs> I think if I saw a snake, it doesn't matter if I... Yeah, I was talking to a guy who had a snake and I stopped I stopped that in its tracks. Yeah. I feel like that's not the worst thing. I feel like having a rat would be worse than having a snake. No, 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 no. Snakes are yeah. snakes are ten yeah. times worse. I'm rats are furry and cute. Snakes are harmless. Mm. Oh yeah, tell that to <laughs> anybody who's been killed by a snake. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell unable that, to think of Tell that to the people on the plane and snakes on a plane. Yeah, They're all not they real never. people. Not real people. I can't do that. <laughs> they don't exist. Me just going to Samuel L. Jackson. Snakes aren't that dangerous. And it's just like, Did you know that he get out of my hotel room? Like there was this. He read an early draft of the script that was like profane and full of f bombs, and it was called Snakes on a Plane. And then he got a second draft, which was a like well not a PG but a twelve A, and it was called like passing uh, like 
United 67. And he was like, no, I wanted to do I didn't sign on for this. Knicks on a I plane. mean, he's a self-professed hentai addict, so think about what you will. Oh. oh. Sam, your one-point nice question. Space. Nicholas Winding Refn, director of the film Drive, failed what eight times? Was it his driving test? It was his driving yeah. test. You're on the board. <laughs> Amazing. Katrina, your two-point question. Toto was paid $150 a week on the set of The Wizard of Oz. How much was each munchkin paid? Oh, it's so low. How much is it? It's something like $20 for the entirety of... Is that your final guess? Yeah, but I think it's wrong. It is wrong. It's $50. Oh, I was, I was lowballing him. I don't him. have that information. Uh, no, it was $50 a week, sorry. Yeah, 50, compared to Toto's. And yet Toto, got, who, who doesn't understand the concept of money. Got Ableism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number two uh, for Sam. Which famous film company turned down Back to the Future due to its possible incestuous implications? God, I don't know. Um... It was a bit incesty. No, they Who turned did? it down. No, yeah, that's oh. what I mean. Um, oh, they don't want to be un- uncovered. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Um, I, I don't even know who produces Back to the Future first and foremost. So, um, uh, MGM. No, it was Disney. They thought it oh, was... Oh, uh, really? Yeah, they, they thought, you can't have a family film with incest in it. They were like, <laughs> racism, that's okay. That's incest, right. we draw the line. Who's racist in Back to the Future? Oh, in other Disney movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. in other Disney movies. No, you know who is racist in Back to the Future? The diner owner. And guess what he's called? Carruthers. <laughs> is he actually... He's like the black uh, the, the black guy who becomes the mayor. Mayor Goldie Wilson. I like the sound of that. And he's like, ain't gonna be a black mayor in this town. And he's called Carruthers. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it's so on the nose. And I'm the it's and so I'm on the nose. Carruthers is the guy in American Psycho who's closeted, who goes to uh, massage Patrick Bateman. I don't get great Carruthers. He has a very weird face in American Psycho. Anyway, who's next? Is it? It's. It's Katrina. Katrina's three pointer. Oh my god, how how odd. Christian Bale commented that he based his American psycho performance upon which famous actor's outlandish TV appearances? Oh Charlie Sheen. <laughs> no, it was Tom Cruise. Oh, oh really? Oh yeah. That annoys me. That annoys me because he was my second guest. Oh. I said Charlie Sheen because something else was based on Charlie Sheen. Oh, wedding! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise annoys me. He's like one of my OGs. Five on five. I watched Cocktail again yesterday. How was that? Very enjoyable. Very <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> Bermuda, Bahama, one of the whole. Literally sat on my own, <laughs> singing along to Cocktail. And I don't know whether that's rock bottom or my zenith. Um, Probably Katri- both. Yeah, it's a mixture. Uh, Katrina, your uh, sorry, Sam, your three pointer. What was the name of the film to feature the first ever filmed sunrise? Ah, oh, oh God, I don't, Lawrence of Arabia. Sunrise. Ah, oh, that's that. I know. <laughs> Why do you do these things to me, Tom? Oh, I, I, I just love it. Uh, <laughs> Katrina, you're four-pointer. You're still both on one point each. Who Woo! did James Cameron originally cast in the role of the Terminator before concluding that this likeable, goofy guy, that's the Cameron quote, couldn't kill anybody? Who did James Cameron... O.J. Origin- Simpson. Ding dong, that is <laughs> O.J. Simpson. <laughs> I actually knew that. Which takes you to five points, Katrina. Oh. Likeable, goofy guy on Thor <laughs> James Simpson. I mean, the glove when didn't was, fit, so, you know. If the glove doesn't was, fit. When was Terminator made? Terminator was 84. Um, so it's peak, peak Naked Gun, and I love the yeah. Naked Gun movies still. Um, oh, God. Sam, your four-pointer. Paul Schrader 
wrote the script for Taxi Driver in five days, the first draft. It is said that he had Walt upon his desk for constant motivation and inspiration. Uh, I don't know, man. What type of question is that? Um... It's your four pointer. They're getting yeah, it. It is my four pointer. Um, did he have uh, a very, a very tiny man saying, "Hey, taxi!" Just at random, at random points no, that he would motivate a, him. He had a loaded gun. Oh, I would have yeah, even accepted yeah. gun. How does that motivate? I was gonna. You? Say, I would have said calendar. So I mean, I did a big X on all oh, my deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Katrina, your five pointer. It's five one currently. There was a special production budget set aside for what on the set of the Blues Brothers? Um, oh, I know this. I've heard this fact before. I've seen this film. It's a great film. That no one will ever see you. Shake your tail, tail. This is wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but I'm going to say sunglasses. Incorrect. It was. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, question number five. Your five points to Sam to 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 pull you in front actually by one point. Before Kubrick joined A Clockwork Orange, the film was originally intended to star a certain popular band of the time as Alex and the Droogs. Which band? The film is seventy. I'll give you the. I'll give you the year just to give you a reminder. You. Clockwork seventy one. Seventy one. Um, the Rolling Stones. Ding dong. Take no! two. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair that you gave him the year there. I don't think that's fair. You know. You knew that the Clockwork Orange was like yeah. early seventies. Yeah, I knew it was like the seventies. I couldn't have told you it was seventy one, but I still don't think that's fair. <laughs> oh, she's it, bitter. She's bitter if already. If you already knew it. it was the seventies, why did you need to tell him the exact year? Just, I, just didn't, I didn't ask for this. But, I'm not saying you did. I'm saying this poem this. is a just... bad quiz. See, see, this is the thing. Like, if Katrina loses now, I will never hear <laughs> the end of this. If, <laughs> if she wins, it will literally never, never come get again. mentioned again. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, which moves us into our next round, which is our favourite film round. Oh, not necessarily really? favourite film, the film that you know most about or whatever. Uh, oh, both God, of you scared, have man. picked a film and you are going to get ten questions on that film. They're worth one point to you, but if you steal, the, well, if the other person steals, obviously, two points. They're worth two Ooh. points. So, we'll start with uh, Katrina, because you're behind by one point. Oh. Sam, how do you feel about Katrina's favourite film, Sliding Doors? <laughs> Uh, well, I've never seen it, which is uh, great, <laughs> which is a good set, but I, I think I know the concept. Um, I mean, <laughs> but other than that, yeah. is, it, is it the one that 9 11 happens in or something? <laughs> oh my gosh, no! <laughs> uh, does that not happen right at the end? No, no that's remember it's three me. years before. Oh, no, you. that's three remember me before. with Robert Pattinson, where it's just a rom com. And Pierce Brosnan's his dad. Is that a bit it... like sliding doors? No, 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 no. So Remember Me ends with Robert Pattinson going to work and then he's like, oh, I've got a busy day at work. And then he writes the and date on the board and it's September 11th. Oh, okay. And it, there's a big long pan out as if you hmm, couldn't guess what, the, <laughs> what was going to gonna happen. And, um, I can tell you that 9-11 has nothing to do with yeah. sliding doors. Sliding doors no, is when it's... Mm. Go on, yeah. give, us, give us ten words on... Oh, no, sorry, yes, I, I shouldn't. No, yeah. I shouldn't. Well, that's that's messed up most of my answers, to be fair now. So. I'm, I I wish, in actuality, we'd have told you we, you had kept this secret and every answer to every question you steal was... 9-11? <laughs> <laughs> and you not that 9-11 is what? funny. Not that 9-11 is oh, funny. No. no. But, but... but me answering 9-11... To mm. every stolen question about sliding doors is funny. Would have been funny. Yeah. Which leads us to uh, our first question. In what year did sliding doors come out, Katrina? Uh, 1998. 1998 is one point. Which famous Hollywood director produced the film? 
Is it Peter Howitt or did he write it? He wrote and directed it. Uh, oh, sorry. So that's Sydney. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I can't believe you've already ruined your own concept. That was very funny. Katrina, can you can he guess with Sydney? I, I I can't, but I'm also not going to because I believe the sanctity of the question. But I didn't know it was. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can get. Go on, just tell us who it is because I don't. Sydney Pollock, director of Out of Sydney Africa, Pollock. Tootsie. Oh, um, yeah. Question number three: What is Paltrow's full character name? Oh, uh, Helen. Schaefer. There you go. No, it's not. Sam. <gasps> Helen Williams. Quilly or Quilly. <laughs> Q-U-I-L-L-E-Y. What is John Hannah's full character name? Oh. Uh, James Turner. <laughs> no, Sam, do you want to take a guess? Uh, is it James Adams? Hamilton. James Hamilton. He, he says she. He says that in the film, Katrina. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number five: Which song plays over the credits of the film? Oh, were we singing it the other day? Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. Um, Boogie Nights or some. Than like something to do with that. Um, no. Or... You can't just throw three out. <laughs> right. I, I'm going to have to take Buggy Nights. I'm sorry, Katrina. <laughs> Buggy Nights is wrong. Sam? Um, I, is it? Is it? it I don't even know. I just, what's a 90s song? Um, is, it, is it? Oh, there's no point in me even. I do, what's a funny answer? Um, <laughs> we had a whole conversation about this. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it the Macarena? No, it was thank you. Question by. number six. By who? By who? Question number six. Oh, thank you, by who? Quest Take a while to <laughs> guess what the question's going to be, <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> question number six. Sung by who? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Wait, is that, is it a cover or is it an original? No, it's an original. Fuck. <laughs> Dido. Ding dong, Dido. <laughs> oh! <laughs> As if. As if. <laughs> That's one You're just point. in there, She's just in there all the time. Dido's, Dido's always there. there. Dido, oh, thank you. Dido. It's whether they are in, I wonder why, why? I come back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh, you because oh, they're Stan, I crushed a curse, Stan. Oh, it's, it's, it's the one, it's the, Stan, it's the one yeah. from Stan, yeah. I've got my wife in the back, Stan. Um, <laughs> oh, I know why I know that, because we actually spoke about my granddad loving Dido. 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 Like Stan, I was like, no, just Dido. Question number seven. Who plays the role of Jerry? Oh, John Lynch. John Lynch is correct. Mm. Which takes us to our next question. Who, for some reason, whenever I read the book One Day, I always picture as the main guy, even though that's not who plays him in the film. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> that's why I know him. Uh, finish this quote. Jerry, I'm a woman. We don't say what we want, but we reserve the right to get pissed off if we don't get it. That's what makes us so fascinating. You shagging bastard. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> well, I'll guess. <sighs> I'll give you six words. Read Jerry, the last sentence of that quote okay. again. That's what makes us so fascinating. Uh, that's what makes us so fascinating. It, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, what's that heading towards the World Trade Center? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and not a little bit scary. Oh. I only said shagging bastard. I didn't know the answer. That's fine. Neither did I. 
that is a line that. from the film, though, Sam. She wasn't. That's not good. Yeah, it wasn't just face. being weird. That is. <laughs> you shagging oh, bastard. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you good diver, but what does she say? You good oh. die, lady good diver. <laughs> Something like that. Question number nine. What song is playing when Helen comes home but doesn't catch Jerry? Oh. McDonald's pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that song. And for our audio listeners, go to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, Search the fast food song. Is it bad that I just never pay attention to the soundtrack, really? Maybe. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, something by the Spice Girls, perhaps. Maybe something like Wannabe. <laughs> no, it's not Wannabe. Sam? <laughs> um, is it is it Free Bird by Leonard Skinner? <laughs> no. Leonard? Yeah, it's Leonard Skinner. It's Leonard. Leonard. It's not, mate. It's Leonard Skinner. It's That's not. the whole rhyme. It's for the why. Go, go on the Wikipedia, mate. What, where I'll read it? It doesn't, it doesn't say. <laughs> regardless, anyway, what regardless, is the actual it was, song? It was named was... after their PE teacher. Oh, okay. And they had, and he had a Y in his name of Leonard? It's Alabama, mate. These things happen. <laughs> Define irony. A bunch of idiots <laughs> singing a song on a plane about a cra- by a band that crashed on a plane. Con Air, what a film. Uh, the song was Honky Cat. Question number oh, 10. Of course it was. One, one second. Sorry, I literally just need to switch the power on for my laptop. It's going to die. Okay. Of course it was. Okay, we're back. Sorry. They have a whole that conversation. Now. Yeah. Question number 10. Which other Elton John song is playing oh. when Helen comes home and does catch Jerry? Oh, I love Elton John. What a guy. Um, it's your Kirsty McCall, though. <laughs> Um, I'm still standing because the man is still erect. That's the best logic I've heard. That's as good a guess as any. It should have been I'm still standing, but it wasn't. Sam, you've uh, never seen the it... film. Go for the ho- go for the ho- yeah, ha- was... Hail Mary. Just go for any Elton John's. Uh, was it? Is it? Is it? Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. It was Benny and the Jets. Oh, oh, of it was. Benny, because he's coming. Remember. He goes, oh, oh, and he comes in time. <laughs> well, I'm not going to pretend that I'm a, I'm an Elton John fanatic. I don't know all these songs. I apologize. Minus five <laughs> points. <laughs> yeah, Katrina, you should be. You are on eight points. Sam, you are on six. Katrina, how do you feel about Sam? The film that Sam's chosen. Everybody wants some. Never seen it. Don't even know who's in it. Well. <laughs> This is going to be yeah, fun when it comes to stealing. <laughs> uh, what a film it is, though. What a film it is. Right. Number one. Richard Linklater considers this a spiritual sequel to what 90s classic film? That's Dazed and Confused. Dazed and Confused oh, for one point. That. Film opens with which iconic track by The Knack? It's My Sharona. It is My Sharona. <laughs> Wyatt Russell's character has taped episodes of which seminal TV series? The Twilight Zone. The Twilight oh, Zone. Oh, well, you may as well just stop now because he's already beat me. <laughs> no, there's, no, there's other there's 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 rounds. Another, there's, there's more rounds. <laughs> what is Wyatt Russell's <laughs> character's full name? Uh, that would be Charlie Willoughby. Charlie Willoughby, which is a great reference to Twilight Zone because there's a wonderful episode of Twilight Zone called uh, uh, a, stop at the, a Stop at Willoughby, which is wonderful. Is that uh, true? Yeah, and it's well, basically the plot is he falls asleep on a train and he wakes up in Willoughby, which is he's really depressed and he's miserable. Yeah. And then he wakes up in Willoughby and it's like a dream town. And then the twist is that he threw himself off the train because he was so depressed and he's now living in like life on Mars where he kills himself and he's now living really? in. Really? Great, great uh, episode. And uh, that obviously makes sense as to what happens to the character. Indeed. Uh, question number five. What is Blake Jenner's character's full name? That would be Jake Bradford. Jake Bradford. And his, and his, uh, and his friends in the film, Jake Barnsley and Batley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God. The, 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 <laughs> <laughs> my fan's on. Look at that. <laughs> you don't want to see who you're up against. That will come later. <sighs> 
I don't uh, think I'll be up against anyone. There's don't another know, round. There's another round, <laughs> Katrina. Uh, the film features the famous daughter of actress Leah Thompson of Back to the Future fame. Her name being... I, is it is it Zoe Dutch? It is Zoe is Dutch. It, is she oh, the I daughter? love Zoe Dutch. Is she the daughter of... Is the, she is Thompson. the daughter of Lorraine Barnes. Oh, they yes. do look alike. I... I did I not know like that. I'm, I feel like I'm kissing my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin Klein, isn't alike. he a dream? <laughs> they do look alike. I know. What is it with you and just being perfect for piney 80s uh, lady roles? If Leah Thompson knocked on my door right now, this quiz would end immediately. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think if then, anybody knocked on your door right now, any, yes. any woman <laughs> of any description. But what a great generational continuation. Zoe Deutsch yeah. is great, Leah Thompson's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. Billy is nicknamed what due to his southern accent? Bearder Perkins. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Linklater also considers the film a spiritual sequel to another one of his films, released in 2014. Boyhood? Ding dong. Boyhood. Was it actually? Because uh, boyhood, boyhood. boyhood ends with him going to college. So he's like, Oh, that, mm, that wouldn't make sense. Finish the film's tagline. Here for a good time. Not a long time. <laughs> now i <I'm> taking <laughs> the 15 points. And for your final question, what is the theme of the dating game homage at the Oz party? Oh, wait. Do you mean Alice in Wonderland? That's correct. Yeah, there we go. So the scores are eight perfect. plays sixteen. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Run in. <laughs> <laughs> which leads us to our next round, which I like to call, and other people like to call, but I'm I'm, st I'm I used to call it this all the time anyway. List man standing. Now, List uh, man standing. now today I have two actors and one actress. And we're gonna go back and forth and back and forth until. Oh no! Yeah, no, I'm gets... not great. At I'm this not either. very good at this kind of stuff. I'm. I'm also not. Don't worry. I'm well, actually sweating. See. I'm no good at this. <laughs> I'd. I'd be terrible and pointless or something. <laughs> I'm. I'm no good at under pressure. I went to a job interview the other day, and uh, he said, "Can you perform under pressure?" And I went, "I think so." Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's like the <laughs> oldest joke I've ever heard. No, it's still gonna laugh. Okay, our <laughs> first. <laughs> our first actor today is the wonderful, talented, unfortunately passed Robin Williams. Oh. So, Katrina, you are behind. So you kick us off. RV. <laughs> Sorry, it is correct. I, <laughs> I just haven't heard anybody. He was a busy guy, not to ruin anything, but six movies in 2006. Um, wow. And RV I was think, one of them. Sam? He did six movies in 2006. I think I can name four films he's in total. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, Dead Poets Society. Correct. Mm. Katrina? Goodwill Hunting. Indeed. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Indeed. Night at the Museum 1. <laughs> yes, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum 2. I need full titles, please. Night at the Smithsonian. <laughs> Correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Is he not in it? No, he is in it. Can I? I'm oh. going to give you three seconds to correct yourself. It's not night at the Smithsonian. Day at the Smithsonian? I don't know. The Smithsonian. Battle oh. of the Smithsonian. Oh, no, ah. no, buggered. buggered. I only had Aladdin after that anyway. Yeah. So. so, seeing as Katrina started, uh, she takes it. You could have had... Um, I'm done. You could have had Popeye. Uh, Popeye, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, that was my next one. Awakenings, Hook, Aladdin, as you say. I love uh, Hook. That's my old favorite. I, I forgot he was in Hook. Jumanji. Oh, of course he's what Bird a Cage. Film. What, what a film. Birdcage, one of the greatest comedies of all time. Jack, one of the worst comedies of all time. <laughs> oh yeah, my gosh, in... that's on Disney Plus. That's on Disney Plus. Jack? Yeah. Oh, don't watch it. 
Um, to the Future would be on Disney Plus if they could just hunker down with some incest yeah. every now Get and then. Get off, you know, come on. Yeah. Who doesn't want to see Leo Thompson? There's so incest. much on Disney. <laughs> There's stuff on Disney Plus I'm like, I feel like that should not be on Disney Plus. Like Song of the South, have they put that on there yet? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, Walt Disney's personal thoughts <laughs> just taped. Yeah, for the first time ever. All eight hours of his anti-Semitic rants are live on Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, and it's, oh, oh. Yeah, a documentary called The Dream Makers, where we follow that weird period where eight, uh, where Walt Disney let the Nazi propaganda maker into oh, Disney no. World. Oh, he's not good, is he? No, he's, he's great. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, well, he had a cameo sorry. in Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet. Um, mm. And everybody did. AI is in One Hour Photo, Insomnia, Robots. <gasps> I love that film. What, that the is the 2006 such a good film. DreamWorks classic? The 2005 DreamWorks oh, classic. Oh, come uh, on. Here are the 2006 movies Night of the Museum, Happy Feet, Man of the Year, RV, and The Night Listener, which sounds very odd. Uh, I, I tell you what, have... I used to despise Happy Feet. I really dislike that film. No, I don't know why. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know why. why. What, what was, was his last film? So, um, so I can't remember which one he filmed last. So he's in Boulevard, where he's a closeted man who comes out later in his life, which is a very sobering and unfortunately disappointing film. Uh, the Angriest okay. Man in Brooklyn, which isn't great. A Merry Frigging Christmas, which also isn't great. Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb. Oh, and then, yeah. That was the last thing he filmed, but the last released is as a voice in, uh, as Dennis the Dog in the movie Absolutely Anything. You know, the Simon Pegg one directed by Terry Jones that came and went? I no. Don't. Right. So Katrina, uh, oh sorry, I should have said that. It's three points uh, for whoever wins these list man standings. So we are now on 16 plays 11. And our next, uh, we have we have a wonderful, we have a wonderful woman, and a wonderful Aussie woman. It's Nicole Kidman. Oh, Nicole. Sam, uh, you go first, please. Australia. Yes. No, that was what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, Moulin Rouge. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm bugging after that. Completely. Those are my, those are my two. Uh, yeah. I could, I, not tell you, I could not tell you what Nicole Kidman's in. At all? Oh. Well, Katrina sure. for the win. <laughs> Katrina for the win. Uh, of this, of this. Let of me, this. Please just let me have, like, just a second. Because suddenly, every single Nicole Kidman See? film... Ooh. Nicole Kidman's ever... in no films. Uh, Nicole Kidman's in TV? lots of movies and my dreams. Can I do... Can I do TV shows? No, you can't do TV shows. <laughs> yeah, but Big Little Lies was excellent. Yeah. Why did you have to say Australia? They're like the two... Because it's the kids. only one I knew. <laughs> I can like picture it in my head. Like what she's wearing in the film I'm thinking about. But I cannot. I have to give you five seconds. I bet Tom can too. Fine. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go. We're open back up to Sam. Have you remembered one? <laughs> no. No. Okay. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, in that case, then, Katrina, I, I'm sorry, Katrina. I, you've got another five seconds, Katrina. Five, four. I can't think of any. That I'm afraid nobody gets three points this time. You could have had, you're going to kill, uh, kill yourself. You're going to kick yourself. <laughs> Will did this. Will did this on a quiz he did. We've joked about it. And I've always been like, who, was, who would ever get those two things confused? Oh, my God. I just thought of one. The Golden Compass. I'm sorry, Katrina. Oh, your time she is. is. Um, you, she's in a... Um, you could have had Dead Calm, uh, which is uh, excellent in. Days of Thunder, Far and Away, Malice, which is great, Batman Forever. Honest, in my defence, haven't oh, seen any of those Forever. films. Of course she's in Batman Forever. Eyes Wide but Shut, one of the greatest opening shots of all time. Uh, the Others, The Hours, 
the others, the hours. <laughs> the the Irish. Dogville, Cold Mountain, Stepford Wives, Birth, which she's also great in. Uh, Bewitched, do you remember that? She was oh, also Bewitched. in Happy Feast. Was she uh, actually? Yeah. Who did she play? She voiced Norma Jean, which I guess is a Marilyn Monroe reference. It can't not be. <laughs> that is Mum. Maybe, I don't know. She was in The Invasion with Daniel Craig. Um, nine, Rabbit Hole, Just Go With It. Um, the Paper Boy, The Railway Man, Grace and Monaco. Paddington as Millicent Clyde. Oh my God, <laughs> I hate myself. I thought you were going to say I hate Paddington and that was going to be another five No, <laughs> I love Paddington. Who oh, doesn't? Um, great film. Genius, Lion. The Beguiled, and recently, uh, Aquaman, Goldfinch, Bombshell, oh, yeah. oh, she's in Boy Erased, Didn't and see it. two wonderful films in 2017. My God, The Beguiled and The Killing of a Sacred Deer, both absolutely marvellous movies. The so, Killing of a Sacred Deer. Nobody to be fair, it. I have not seen most of those films. Yeah, I don't watch films. I don't really know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's happened again. Are we haunted? Is this the, right, to be fair, the movie The Others? Great movie. To be fair, <laughs> Good film. Yeah. To be fair, I don't watch that many films either. I'm I have I don't. And Tom's always like Tom once had a go at me because he was like, You always say you love musical theatre. I'm like, No, I love like one show. When did I have a go at you for saying you love musical theatre? I uh, genuinely Year's cannot Eve. remember that. Oh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I guess. Probably yeah, but you're you were out of your jets because it was like there were there were like four musical theatres. No, I wasn't was like, even Let's trying. put on the whole Legally Blonde soundtrack and sing along. <laughs> me and me and Will were asleep on the sofa at one point, and you were just shouting, and I was just mm. like, and then you went, Jenny, you don't even know any musical shows." I'm like, "When did I say I did?" <laughs> At one time, I, I took uh, I took my ex to one of Will's parties, and they had most of his musical theatre people there. And like it, it literally became a full scene from Glee. Like they were doing that annoying <laughs> thing of like, "Oh my god, do you remember the choreography?" I probably don't. And then it's one, two, three, and four, then, yeah, 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 and they yeah. did all of all of Evita. Oh but actually, we we stole the show because we did a very um, sensual rendition of um, from Evita. Um, what's it called? The sex song. I'd be surprised. I'd be surprisingly good for you. And everyone was like, "Wow, they're a great couple." Then she left me. <laughs> that is quite funny, actually. <laughs> it is really funny. It's really funny. I laugh all the time about it. It's really good. <laughs> the, the thing is, I actually do laugh about it all the time. <laughs> oh my god, people are gonna hate me. <laughs> they already do. They're like, she likes <laughs> sliding doors. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't barely even like that because apparently I know nothing about the film. Yeah, you've, you've, you've yeah. made yourself look a fool. Um, <laughs> if you'd have asked me what Jerry's friend was called, I'd know that. He's called Russell. But you didn't. Shame I didn't. Okay, yeah. and our final <laughs> list man standing. Again, I need complete film titles, please. Okay. Yeah. In Because we've got a lot of sequels here. Okay. Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Uh, okay. So Katrina, uh, Sam started last time. Katrina, you please start. He was recently in um, Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame. He was. Um, he was in Iron Man. He was in Iron Man. He was in Doolittle. <laughs> he was in Doolittle. He was. <laughs> A he was. very disappointing His film. His first non-Avengers movie in six years and it's Doolittle. And it's Doolittle of all things. Anyway, um, um, yes. Who's next? Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2. Um, Avengers Infinity War. Avengers mm -hmm. Infinity War. Do cameos count, by the way? Any credited performance. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. He was in Spider-Man Homecoming. He was. He was. 2017. Um, Avengers Assemble. Avengers Assemble, yeah. Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes, 2015. Yeah. Um, Captain America Civil War. 2016, <laughs> yes. Good pull. Um, 
I think he was in an end credit scene of The Incredible Hulk from 2008. He was, oh. yes, in 2008, <laughs> yes. Um, he was in Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. He, he was in that, yes. Yeah. He was also just in Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, odd choice to go to a sequel first. That's like on Pointless, where it's like, um, I don't know anything, Jeremy. <laughs> Who's Jeremy? Alexander. <laughs> I don't know anything, Alexander. And then he, they like go, Night of the Museum 2. So that, but they've also got the next one so that his wife who knows nothing can go, I think uh, Michael's given me a helping hand here. And when I say that always happens, it happened once. <laughs> and I've always thought it was a good tactic. Um, <laughs> uh, no, sorry, Sam. No, it is me. Um... Which other? I I'm realizing I know no other non-Marvel films that he's in. I um, right because he's in a um, lot of great stuff. No, I imagine uh, he was he was in one, and we were watching it recently. I don't know the name of the film, so this isn't a spot. But his eyes were glazed over, and it was just like, oh, he's definitely in the height of his like major drug addiction. <laughs> yeah, there are a nice. few distracted uh, performances um, here. He's he in. Does he make a sort of flashback appearance in, I don't know, I'm just trying to think, does does he make some sort of flashback appearance in Spider-Man Far From Home? I can't he remember. He does not. He does not. Ah. Uh, he is seen... On in a mural, yes. In a mural, but indeed not. Uh, I couldn't remember if he was in a in a flashback. No, he wasn't. So, she Katrina, was to win a Robert Downey Jr. film, please. I feel like I'm backing up the wrong 1980s tree, <laughs> and I don't even know if this is a film. I'm literally pulling this out my backside. Okay. Is there one called The Outsiders? He's in. He okay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you are you, you are like obscenely lucky here. So he is not in The Outsiders with Patrick Swayze and all them, but in two thousand and five he was in a documentary as himself called in called The Outsider. So well, one second, one I'm going to give you it. I'm sorry, Katrina. I've yes! got to answer the door. This is bullshit. I've got to answer the door. <laughs> okay, okay. He's going to answer the door. So, Katrina, why don't you revel for a moment in your the outsider? Sorry, I mean I've got a lisp, so sometimes ah I do actually, right. <laughs> I do actually have a speech impediment? So sometimes it sounds like an S, but it's actually just an er uh, and just a full full stop. The no, outsider sorry. for the that is That is <laughs> some serious bullshit. <laughs> Which I've takes us to... Impediment. I don't even think I've won anyway. I can't win. No, so. you, you can win, because I'm going to explain. But uh, the scores are currently on 16 plays 14. And you could have also had, sorry, uh, Downey Jr. wise, uh, the pickup artist, Weird Science, less than zero... Uh, Johnny B. Good, um, Soap Dish, Chaplin, which is great. Um, oh, of course, he plays Charlie. Chaplin, Chaplin. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's in Natural Bone Killers. He is in US Marshals. He's in Bowfinger, uh, The Wonder Boys, um, The Singing Detective, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is great. Good Night and Good Luck, which is great. Uh, Shaggy Dog, who was in as Dr. Kozak. Uh, Zodiac, one of the best films oh, ever course, made. Oh, of course, of course he uh, is. Tropic Thunder, another one oh, of the best films ever made. Of course he is. As Kirk Lazarus. I couldn't tell him, he looks a bit different in that one. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Um, <laughs> what an incredible film. Uh, the Soloist, not an incredible film. View <laughs> Date, do you remember that? Plain Strains Marbles? Ripper. Really what's the don't. one? What's the one he's in, Tom, where he plays like an FBI agent and a convict has gone missing? U.S. Oh, Marshals. Re- yeah, that's oh, the man. one I'm talking about, where his eyes were literally mm. like. Yeah. Peak. Peak. Yeah, uh, literally, <laughs> it's like oh. 
yeah, the the sequel to The Fugitive, where they were trying to make The Fugitive a uh, like a, a franchise, <laughs> <laughs> which I guess could have worked. I mean, The Fugitive's great. Uh, okay, which leads us to I tell a lie. You do need a tiny little piece of paper and a little bit of a pen, uh, or at least a, or at least a phone or something to hand, because it's time for our final copyright jeopardy question where I'm going to give you the category and you're going to place your bet of your points. If you get the question right, you get those points. If you get the question wrong, you lose those points. Sam, you are on 16. Katrina, yeah. you are on 14. And the category is famous 90s directors controversies. You've got five seconds. To place Do, it, your... Can the controversies be new, newly founded? No, this is a controversy at, in 1991. Do, 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 do. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so I have to I have to say how many I think I'll be able to get. Yeah, write it down though, don't uh, reveal Okay, it. okay. Yeah, well no, how many points you want to wager? So if you get the question right, you lose those points. If you get the question wrong, uh, sorry, if you get the question right, you obviously get the points. If you get the question wrong, you lose those points. Okay. Well, I don't want to bet anything. Okay, well, keep it to yourself. So, <laughs> <laughs> because Sam can now, anyway. Uh, <laughs> unless she's bluffing you, Sam. Oh, that could be true. I'm not going to steal. Mar I'm, I'm, I'm arthritic. <laughs> golden balls, golden balls. Golden I'm arthritic balls. and all the money's going to go. Any, any money at all to go to the, to the church foundation will do me great. <gasps> right, I love you, Muriel. You're my, you're my new best friend. Let's change. I'm going to stick. I'm going to split with you, Muriel. I'm going to split with you. And she's yes, like, fucking sorry. bitch. There you go. <laughs> the church uh, never gave I you any it? money. Can I do a plug? Um, you should all follow my brother's Facebook page, Bring Back Golden Balls. Katrina, I'll let you know that I followed you your already, brother's. You your, I followed your brother's Golden Ball page before I ever met you. <laughs> um, can I also say follow my counter page called Never Bring Back Golden Balls that I made <laughs> when me and my brother were having an argument once. <laughs> I was just going to say, who, who has that strong an opinion on Golden Balls? And I was like, oh, it's no, me, just Golden the opposite balls. opinion. <laughs> no, I love Golden Balls. I, we were having an argument once and I wanted to annoy him. Fair enough. Enough about Jasper Carrot, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I feel should be my new catchphrase. Um, <laughs> so the category was famous 90s direct controversies. We're going to find out uh, what points have been wagered afterwards. But here's the question. Jonathan Demi the recently deceased director of The Silence of the Lambs reacted to the outrage from the LGBT community over the film with his next film, which was what? So I'll say that again, it's a rather convoluted question. Jonathan Demi, the recently deceased director of The Silence of the Lambs, reacted to the outrage from the LGBT the LGBTQ, oh my God, the LGBT, LGBT community LGBTQ. over Q uh, plus community. Well, at the time, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I know that it's the LGBTQ plus, I was, in, in 1991, anyway. Uh, from Carry the on. LGBTQ plus community over the film with his next film, which was what? You've got about five seconds. Do I have to do yeah, I write, write this down? Yeah, write it down, please, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Um... Do, 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 do. And it was and it was received very well. It it wasn't a deeper digging hole. It was he didn't make the most offensive movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> he made a beautiful, beautiful film. Do, 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 do. Wonderful Jonathan Demi, incredible director, unfortunate loss. I haven't Sounds heard of him. I've heard of Science of the Lambs, but I've never heard of him. Science of the Lambs is great. He's made, he made the greatest concert film ever with Stop Making Sense, the Talking Heads film. And dun, 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 dun. Okay, Katrina, you were behind with 14 points. How many points did you wager? Zero. You wagered zero points, and your, uh, you put for your answer? Um, I don't know. 
Okay, so you lost nothing. You are at 14 points. Sam, how many points did you wager? I, I, I wagered one. <laughs> you wagered one point. And uh, so we, we do officially have a winner today. Uh, just for, <laughs> for glorification, uh, what film did you put down? Um, I put Brokeback Mountain. No. Yeah, that I would be... It wasn't. Yeah. Rated 15 years to react to the controversy. Yeah. No, well, that's it was, what I mean. It was the very uh, wonderful AIDS drama, Philadelphia. Is oh. that weird? Tom Hanks, uh, Antonio Banderas, Denzel Washington's homophobic, but then he's like, hey, you guys aren't so bad. And then he defends Tom <laughs> Hanks in court. No, it wasn't the one I was thinking about then. Oh, what film were you thinking about? The one with, is it Robin Williams, the one where he's gay? Birdcage. Yeah. With, with Nathan Lyon. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's one of the best films ever made. That's Everybody go I watch The Birdcage. <laughs> Everybody go watch The Birdcage. Um, okay, so as, I, as, as previously mentioned, we do have a winner. Now, uh, I will tell you afterwards who you are playing, but uh, our intrepid audience are yet to find out. So, um, I can't say any more. But for now, we do have a winner. Katrina, commiserations. It's been a... Um, you, you, you fought a valiant fight. Um, I didn't, though, did I? No, it was 1640. <laughs> if the... If the <laughs> I was going to say, if you knew the final question, it would be a different story. But if you knew any of the questions, then it would be a different story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the thing. For a lot of the times, when I watch or like a film, I don't actually know anything about the film. But... <laughs> Did I lose a point for not knowing the director? In what? For in sliding, sliding doors. doors. Uh, no. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Because you said Sydney someone. Oh, the, the, no, yeah, no, that's the famous director who produced the film and helped it get made. Oh, I didn't know you said that. I just thought you said director. So maybe your friends so maybe listen. Oh no, you wouldn't have. You would. Have, oh well, no, no, it would have been. It would have been fifteen all. Maybe you would have bet differently. Who knows? It's a whole new. It's a whole. Yes. That's a whole new game. Katrina, it's been a pleasure having you. But Sam, congratulations! You are going through to round two. How are you Thank feeling? You are you, are you I'm excited? Ex I'm very excited. This is I great, love, isn't it? This is I, better than I, I could have ever imagined. If I only I'd have known another Nicole Kidman film. Oh I yeah. Love I love quizzing and I love um, winning. I so, I'm me. terrible at quizzes. This, and I, I do I... love you, Tom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, I'm having a fantastic time. Do, am I going to have to choose a new film to answer questions on uh, next time? Spoilers, everybody, but the final round, you will have to pick another. Uh, but for round two, round two is a whole different board game. But okay. we'll get, oh, we'll get there. We'll get to that. <laughs> I already, um, if I get to the final round, I already know what my film's going to be. I'm not going to say it. Because, okay, you know. no, that's fine. But, I do um, have a problem that I will give I'm you... not as competitive oh, as I should be. I'm not <laughs> as competitive as I should be. So actually, when you said, oh, you'll never hear the end of it, I think you will. I think I'm all right, actually, with not winning. <laughs> you are quite literally Because, because ultimately, this does have no real world consequences. Exactly, and I'm not even it's, winning anything. It's, it's no not prize. like you've just had a bad day on Pointless and you've lost out on three grand. <laughs> or, I mean, or like, you've gone on I the chase and just bought tw like £25,000. Exactly. No. All no you've lost out Tom. on is spending 40 more minutes with Tom. Which, and I tell you way, what, I'm all right, actually. <laughs> it's on Tom Day. If that was a male a gigolo, some people would pay £3,000 to spend 40 minutes with me. But you're not I'm a sure male they gigolo. Would. I'm sure they would, not. but, you know. Not yet. Uh, all, all the, I mean, the prize Third year is, changes, people. The prize is a portrait drawn of me by will so, so not sure how many people want yeah in your want, want in your that. favorite film sliding doors which apparently you know nothing you know about nothing about <laughs> <laughs> all you, i know the song that you guessed like, boogie nights when it's uh, famously a very somber dido song and you went boogie nights <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh.